Late Friday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi keeping the pressure on President Donald Trump. This is not a, a cause for any joy that we have to go down this path. It's a difficult decision to make. Pelosi's comments coming as Democrats set a tight timetable for impeachment and after the abrupt resignation of Kurt Volker, Mr. Trump's special envoy for Ukraine, first reported by an Arizona student newspaper and confirmed by NBC News. Over the summer, Volker helped the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, set up meetings with Ukrainian officials. I suggest we schedule a call together on Monday, maybe 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Washington time. He texted Giuliani, who cited the text as proof that he was working with the State Department. The whistleblower falsely alleges that I was operating on my own. Well, I wasn't operating on my own. But that disclosure prompting congressional Democrats to subpoena documents from Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and demand a sworn deposition from Volcker. Meanwhile, President Trump again attacked the whistleblower, suggesting he may be a partisan operative. As his campaign doubled down on unsubstantiated allegations that former Vice President Joe Biden pressured Ukraine to fire its prosecutor to help his son. They lost the election. Now they want to steal this one. But Biden responding by claiming that the president is afraid of him. He will stop at nothing to hold on to power. It is not surprising that I become the object of his attention.